Hey everyone, it is Tuesday and that means it's Sentinels Day and I haven't done any play testing for at least a week and I told some people I would, so I'm going to do a couple of things. I think this is my first now official uh, Sentinels tabletop simulator video. If you saw the previous one, I took it down because something fucked the hell up in the middle. I don't know what it was, um, but it kind of ruined the whole thing. Um. So let me start by explaining a little bit what I'm going to do. This is Tabletop Simulator. Um, it's a Steam game that lets you create and play tabletop games. And of course there's a lot of DLC that people have made in the workshop for you know official games that is not officially licensed. So what I am playing is not officially licensed Sentinels content, but I feel okay doing it because you know, I own the physical game, and I own the digital game, and I'm going to be getting all the stuff in those eventually. And this is my preferred way for playing with custom decks, because it's easy to clean up. I'll, I'll show you that later. Um, I've also decided not to live stream these, just because nobody's going to show up for number one. But uh, more importantly... <clears throat> Uh, the streaming just does not work with my laptop, so I, I'm just going to record these, do a little bit of editing, throw them up on YouTube when I'm done. Um, the specific Sentinels setup that I'm using here is the Sentinels of the Multiverse Plus Cauldron, I think it's called, uh, by the Reaper, the Reaver, or something like that. And uh, it's got everything that's been released physically so far. Uh, and I think that's all you need to know. Well... Other than, um, I found this really cool tutorial on YouTube about using uh, OBS and their noise gate for taking out all the clicks and bonks and stuff that your keyboard makes, except that's the sound of my laptop's trackpad, and I can't noise gate it out. If I do, if I set the noise gate, excuse me, if I set the noise gate, to take that out of the audio, it takes out my talking. So there's no way for me to get rid of it. These videos are going to sound like crap. I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully the gameplay will make up for it. Um, anyway, I'm starting off today with Booster Gold because A, he's you know an actual DC Comics character that theoretically everyone knows, and B, he's a lot of fun to play. Um, his deck was designed by... I believe it was Revkev2000. I'll uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, he kind of plays like Legacy, which is to say he's got some some damage dealing. You can see his innate power deals two energy damage to something, um, and he has a lot of team support. Except it's more like the team supporting him. He likes to showboat, <coughs> which you know really fits his personality. So. That's why I enjoy playing him. Um, I have rolled up... Oh, Christ, it's doing it again. I have rolled up a random game here. We've got Captain Cosmic, Booster Gold, Completionist Guys, and Freedom 6 Unity fighting La Capitan in Doc Thorath Capital. <coughs> There's no way this can go horribly wrong. Um, okay, La Capitan starts. Uh, shuffle the villain trash the villain deck. Done. What do we get? Uh, he had a target with the highest HP. Remember, quick cards and play plus one. So she hits booster gold for one. Doop. And Lapardo is in the trash, not in the trash, so that's fine. And she hits the highest for three projectile damage. And Captain Cosmic will take that. You know, one thing about booster gold is he wants to have the highest HP. And then Lapardo plays a card, and it's walk the plank. Oh snap! Well, so much for having HP. Not use powers. Oops. Well then. Let's start with... Okay, I got an energy bracer. Throw that out here. And just since the last time I played, they have changed it so that when you hover over the counter here, it shows you a T. Kind of annoying, but okay. At least you know exactly where your cursor is. Uh, and that gives one and then we'll go ahead and fabricate oh another one 
let's put it on her. <laughs> because, uh... Yeah, that might make it worth her while to use her power. Of course, she's only got the one bot. Well, now nah, I have Flash Forges. It'll be fine. And he draws a card. Okay, Booster Gold. It's got... I don't know what this is. One player may move a card from their trash back into their hand. Not going to be useful. Chill out. At the end of your turn, if Booster Gold dealt no damage, you may draw a card and Booster Gold regains a hit point. I can actually play that since he can't use his power. Save the girl. Play this card next to another hero. When that hero will be dealt damage, you may destroy this card to prevent that damage. And if you do, draw a card. And Stolen Flight Ring. Draw two cards. Booster Gold is immune to any damage dealt by the environment until the start of your next turn. Um, I should mention this deck has been undergoing some uh, some revisions recently. I kind of have not been able to keep track of what's going on. Please, please stop auto-focusing. There we go. Jeez. Uh, I haven't been able to keep track of what's going on. So I'm kind of playing with a, with a previous version, but you'll, you'll get the gist. I'm going to go ahead and play Chill Out. And then skip his power because he can't use it. Draw a card. At the end of his turn, he dealt no damage. I can draw a card and he gets a hit point. I've actually I've, I've played with him maybe a half dozen times. That's the first time I've ever used that card. Okay, getting around to guys, and we have yet to actually <laughs> uh, do any damage. So I'm going to go ahead and start with say cheese just to hit that once. And man, I kind of want to keep Unity on her power. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch Captain Cosmic. Because Completionist Guys gets along with Captain Cosmic real good. Let's switch him out for used Captain Cosmic. And then I'll go ahead and fabricate. Oh, yes. I will put that into play and draw a card. Okay, Flash Forge. One, two, three. I want one of you and uh, Swift Bot and another one of you. And then she will go ahead and deal herself four energy damage, by which I mean two energy damage. Put that Swift Bot into play so that she can draw two cards this round. Off to a pretty good start, other than the fact that we've done a grand total of one damage to the boat. Dock the Wrath Capital. Ooh, Edgic Refugees. Fun. La Capitan. Shuffles her shit. Oh, and here we go. And he can use powers again. Deals each hero target one psychic damage. Oh, gee. okay. So he's redirecting that to the hero target, non-hero target with the lowest HP, which is this. Player may discard a card to redirect the damage to a hero target. Um. Oh shit! I've got two different versions of America's Greatest Hero. I need to make sure I change that. I don't know how that happened. Um, the ongoing is the appropriate one. That's that's you know what I'm going to go ahead and whoops uh oh it's doing it again. Oh, the last time I tried to do this, for some reason the Q and F keys have been flipped. Let me uh. Yeah, I'll discard a card, redirect that one damage to Unity, who won't take anything. This takes one. 
All right, and then she hits the highest for three, which is him. Oh, why couldn't it have been that that got redirected? And plays another card off the ship. She hits the highest for one. Okay. Captain Cosmic. Now I regret not giving him at least one of those. Let's go ahead and do some damage. One, two, two, not bad. That's four. And then we will use Requital. Okay, that's... Um... Go ahead and use the harsh offense. One more damage. And I will give him the cosmic weapon just in case. And there are only three constructs out, so he doesn't take any damage. Awesome. Alright. Booster goal. What do you got? <clears throat> Not useful. Maybe useful. Kinda useful. Yeah, we're gonna go with America's Greatest Hero. See, it's that should be spinning it, and that should be flipping it. <sighs> Increase damage of the hero targets with less HP than booster gold by one. Start of your turn, destroy this card. Power booster gold gold regains two HP. So it's kind of <clears throat> inspiring presence. I'm using that power. Uh except it totally isn't. All right, destroy that. Hmm. That's, that's... Let's go ahead and I can do that too. Go ahead and use Man of Gold. Have guys deal that two energy damage. And then... Uh... Nobody's got anything that could work with Unity. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and switch out Captain Cosmic again. <clears throat> this is... Oops. This is the real benefit of using Captain Cosmic with Completionist guys. So number one, guys gets to use Requital, which is amazing. Number two, Captain Cosmic gets to spam the board with Constructs and then have them all deal damage. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use Requital, reveal the top three cards of my deck, and put them into play in any order. Um, damn it. Okay, guys, the Barbarian Gritty Reboot. I can do that too. I will use Play with Madness. I'm going to deal a target one, two, three energy damage, and then each construct will deal that one. Okay, that's enough to kill the ship. <clears throat> Alright, she can play two cards. In Storm. And first blood goes to Unity. Second card. Spy crate, why not? And then she'll deal herself two damage. And put yeah, let's put a platform bot into play. And draw two cards. The platform bot does three damage. Okay, abject refugees. Start of the environment turn, each player may draw a card. We're gonna do that. Oh, and I forgot she's got fewer HP than Booster Gold. Oh, actually, so did guys. Shoot, oh well, I could have done more damage to Captain Cosmic. But that means the Brainstorm and Platform Bot each did one extra damage. Because he's America's greatest hero. Defiant Looters. Oh, that's fun. In the environment, turn to discard the top card of each deck. An equipment card is discarded this way. Move it to its owner's hand. So, not an equipment. Cool. Not an equipment, sadly. Has no equipment. Um, not an equipment. And she doesn't either. Okay. Capitan flips, and she heals. One, two, three, four. At least we got rid of the goddamn ship. 
Hmm, that's going to be a problem. <clears throat> and, uh... That's her turn. She doesn't flip back, and we have nothing to destroy. Cool. Alright, Autonomous Blade. I'm gonna put that on Captain Cosmic. Oh yeah, because he's got Play With Madness. Oops, come on. Um... Let's see. That's what deals the target one energy damage. Okay, so... The Autonomous Blade is not going to go off. I could do a bunch of damage to guys and get him cards. I don't think he would appreciate that though. Um, the Autonomous Blade is not going to go off, but I can hit La Capitan for one, two, three, four, five cards. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, that's right, yeah. I will strip all of the cards from her steel pile. Here. I did shuffle that deck, didn't I? And a B bot. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well. Um, so that's okay. Captain Cosmic, the Cosmic Weapon, and the Autonomous Blade, and the first Energy Bracer, and the second Energy Bracer hits her for two because of the boost from Booster Gold. Teamwork. Start of your turn, destroy this card. Yeah. See, ah, here we go. This is one of his really good cards. Once per turn, when Booster Gold deals damage to a non-hero target, one of the hero target may deal that target one damage of a type of their choosing. So, Booster Gold will use his, oh, his base power to do two damage to her, and we'll have Captain Cosmic deal her one energy damage, and then because he dealt damage, he can deal two off the Autonomous Blade. And now, Booster Gold set for a pretty good haul. Sadly, the Gritty Reboot didn't give me anything. Best card ever! Deal target two melee damage, heal hit points, um... Hmm... I will woo. I'm just going to play Gritty Reboot again. Maybe he'll take some damage this time. We are going to switch out Unity. And usually I would switch her straight to Termination because Termination is the best Unity. But I would actually like to get some more bots out, so we're going to go with Basic. And then not going to use her base power, although he could get a card out of it. I'll just deal a copy time to Psychic Dam. Alright, Unity can play two cards, so I'm not going to drop the Supply Crate. I'm going to play Powered Shockwave. Each villain target lightning damage equal number mechanical, so three. Not that amazing. And I'm going to play this Volatile Parts. And then I will bot hack the Supply Crate into a B-Bot. Because we need to get rid of that ongoing, and if nothing else, oops, nothing else, I can destroy it next turn after I switch her to termination. And stir the environment turn, everybody can join. Doc Thorath. Ah, here we go, Freedom Fighters. So first the looters do their thing, do da do da. Oh nice, they are saving us from some of the worst stuff. Oop, that goes in her hand. That's Unity is basically the only person who is going to benefit from that. That oh, that goes in his hand. He's got two of those now. Darn. Acceptable. Looters, you are really helpful. Each non-civilian target two lightning damage, and they're all civilians. So, she takes nothing. Uh, okay, now the question is... Oh, shoot. 
Do I use the B-Bot now to save us from a bunch of damage? Or do I get rid of Maria Helena's Revenge? Now I'm going to get rid of Maria Helena's Revenge. Alright. So she deals a target to projectile damage. And destroys an ongoing card. And that hits the non-hero target with the lowest for two fire damage. Nice as the refugees are, we're not going to save them. Well, I could dis I could discard a card to just not have that happen. You know what? I'm going to do that. So I can discard a card from somebody. Um... He, uh, I thought he had a second. Yeah, he doesn't need both of those visor displays. Discard a card, redirect that to Unity, so she doesn't need any damage. Um, okay, B-Bot did his thing. Alright, to him, he finally draws a card. To her, to you, that, that, you. Okay, she does not heal. Captain's orders, that'll be fun. She flips and hits the highest for three projectile damage. And then she's also the lowest, so she hits her target with the lowest for three melee damage. That is one of the two energy bracers. I think I'm just gonna let it go. All right, cosmic. Hmm, who wants to use a power a lot? Oh, Booster Gold does. Because he's got that cool born leader thing. Alright, now, one, two, three, four, five instances of one damage. Come on, there we go. Oh, yeah, and then two off the autonomous plate. Forget about that. Okay, booster gold. Let's see. Oh dang. Um. Oh, he's got the lowest HP. Shoot, wouldn't work. Had multiple. Be nice. Hmm. Let's save the girl on Captain Cosmic. I can destroy that to prevent the next damage, well, to prevent a damage to him and draw a card. And then, wipes gold, and we'll let, yeah, we'll let Captain Cosmic hit her for one, and then Autonomous Blade goes off, and we're good. Boop. All right, um, look what I found. Hit her for three, he gets plus one to his next damage. We're gonna swap out Booster Gold. Because guess what? He actually comes with a uh, variant. Fill the top card of a deck, put it into play or into the trash. That'll be cool. So now no matter what, Guys does whether he uses man of gold or his own power, he's going to do two, three damage. And that's his turn. Alright, she can play two cards. We'll play the modular workbench. And I might as well go ahead and play that supply crate. And then I'll use the modular workbench to drop that from the platform bot. Oh, you know what? I think they forgot to take damage last round. Actually, oh, yes, and draw two cards, and then platform bot does his thing, and everybody can draw a card to start the Dr. Do Rath turn. All right, things are going to get crazy. Ah, gene-bound ravagers. Okay, so, first the Defiant Looters happen. It's fine. Darn. Oh, the Force Field. Darn. Is that a... Ooh, that is an equipment. Excellent. All 
I do hate this. Recent update to Tabletop Simulator made it so that if you're flipping a card when you put it into a hand, it will stay, like, rotate. Excuse me, rotated. That's something good to avoid. All right, now, Freedom Fighters go off. So they're going to hit these guys. They're going to hit her. <coughs> they're going to hit the Dynamic Siphon, letting Booster Gold use a power to hit her for two. And then Captain Cosmic can hit her for one and two. And then they'll hit Bebot so that she deals... Let's see, she deals target two projectile damage. She gets the non-hero target with the lowest HP. And I forgot what it takes. No. The lowest HP for two, which, oh look, it's those guys. And then she destroys an ongoing card. Oh wait, except that wasn't what I wanted to do. Two. Destroy the Freedom Fighters. Yeah. That makes sense. And that's the environment turn. <clears throat> Ooh, true shot. The one that's nearly impossible to kill. We need another America's Greatest Hero that'll fix for the Lord Dragon. Uh, three damage to him, and then true shot will deal three damage to Unity, because she only takes two. Oh, actually, I could have prevented that. Let's back that up. Have it happen to him. Booster Gold will fly in and save Captain Cosmic from true shot and Drock. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking augmented ally on Unity. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we might actually win this one, unless she does something crazy. <clears throat> Alright, boost goal. Let's see. Storm Flight Ring, chill out. Central Lesser Heroes. Somebody else have... Well, I guess there's... Yeah? Let's do Mentor Lesser Heroes. Boost goal deals a target 2 melee damage. Another hero with less HP than Booster Gold may use a power now. That would be Guys. He will swap out uh, Unity. Because I actually want to use the variant on power on the variant there. Um, and he'll just do two damage. And then, yeah, for his power. Oh yeah, and because he did that, then also Captain Cosmic can hit her, and two damage off the Autonomous Blade. And I think I forgot the Autonomous Blade damage on his turn, and we're going to win this. Build the top card of a deck, put it into play, or into the trash. Let's reveal Unity. Oh yes. We're winning this. Alright. Guys, what cool shit can you do? <sighs> oh, you know what? I should have killed that energy bracer. Which means she would have taken one less damage. Oh, it's so difficult to keep track of. Okay. Anyway. So much time and so little to do. <clears throat> I'm gonna... Man. I think I'm gonna switch Booster Gold back. Yeah, um... Play Selling Out. Just because. And we will switch Booster Gold back to his regular dumb self. And I feel like using Temporal Do Over again would be a great idea. Time shift. Cool. One, and no point in hitting anything else, but she draws two cards. That was useful. Okay, Unity, what you got? Two cards off the supply crate. 
and then she can discard a card to use a po oh yes um discard scrap metal to use the modular workbench which requires me to discard another card uh, and I can put out turret bot since at the start of my turn still he will deal his damage One, two three now she can play two cards one uh, a booster gold why don't you use a power he'll do four energy damage Captain Cosmic will do one energy damage, and the Autonomous Blade finishes her off. And Unity didn't even get to do the cool stuff with her bots this round. So that's Booster Gold. Uh, he, is, he is a showboating maniac. He's got a very interesting definition for team support. And here's how you clean up Tabletop Simulator. Oh, that's so thrilling. Um, I will be 